This is my unboxing and review of the new Elite Triad. In the packaging itself, you will receive both the Elite Triad as well as three Elite Darts. Uh, for anyone who cares, I got a batch of W Darts, which I believe you could see right here. But uh, that's just some people like to keep track of the uh, different types of batches. So that's what I got with this, and they're pretty solid foam. So basically how the triad works is very similar to that of the jolt where you prime it down here on the bottom. Uh, this has about a 2 inch prime compared to the jolt's about a 1 inch prime uh, which makes it noticeably different when if you're used to like a jolt. Uh, it contains 3 darts in a turret and it fires them off starting with the bottom working in a clockwise, clockwise rotation just like that. It is a very fairly powerful blaster as well. While I do find the Triad to be extremely cool and decently comfortable, I find it to be a bit bulky, especially in the back area here. So if you're used to like the Jolt where it's extremely small, uh, this tends to be a bit bulkier, especially in this back area right here. However, that does uh, make my coolest feature, in my opinion, of the Triad, which is the fact that it doesn't have a normal rotation in the firing. For example, it always starts out at the bottom, like here. However, uh, like if there was no dart here, it would automatically just shoot that dart. And then if I wanted to, I could just shoot that one again. So it doesn't just rotate clockwise and then reset, and then you have to rotate clockwise again, which I really like about this. And how that works is basically uh, when you have a dart sitting back in the barrel, it pushes down the air restrictor which allows the airflow to go through here. And there's a small path that goes from this one to this one to this one. However, it starts with here, that's why it always fires first. But then if there's no dart there, the air restrictor won't be pushed back. So basically the air restrictor almost seals it and then allows the air to travel to the next one. So if there's a dart in here but no dart in here, uh, it will just flow right past it and then shoot out at the next barrel, which I find to be really cool. And, I mean, I guess it works for fast reloading. Cosmetically, the Triad is pretty appealing, similar to the other Elite Blasters. Uh, if you look on the handle right here, you can see the Elite logo as well on this side. And the Nerf logo is in the white stripe, similar to the other side. However, what I did find interesting was, I don't know if this is just mine or not, but where it says Triad EX3 on the right side, on the opposite, uh, it still says Triad EX3, but it's not black or have white, or doesn't have white lettering, which I just found to be interesting. It might be a flaw of mine. Uh, orange is pretty standard, and I really do like the Elite paint scheme. I find it pretty interesting. Uh, only other thing that I thought was pretty funny is they put like a little iron sight on the top here. Not like you're really going to aim this thing for too far, but it does have a pretty effective range, which I do like. Uh, in my opinion, if you don't own the Fire Strike already and you use stock darts for either HVZ or just for fun, I would definitely recommend picking this one up. Uh, it was only $7 at my local Target, so it's definitely not breaking the bank in any way, shape, or form. So I would definitely recommend buying it because it is a small, decently compact pistol blaster that uh, I think class would be classified as a pocket blaster that has multiple shots and has a very effective range, so I would definitely get it just for those factors alone. However, it is a pretty fun blaster to use, which just kind of adds to it. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and please stick around for some of my other videos.